we're going to be driving some rain which is quite heavy let's talk about it let's drive it let's do it it's torrential rain at the moment um, it's not very nice it's quite windy quite important get your headlights on uh, so people can see you um, they're less likely to pull in front of you less likely to step out in front of you um, and um, windscreen wipers on front and back if possible if you don't know where they are then I suggest what you do is is find them where they are get get used to where they are before you're driving so that's when you're driving around in your own car after you pass the test you know where they are you're not trying to fumble and swerve when you are driving in rain like this it's important to keep a safe gap now remember it's different than driving in dry conditions you need a four second gap in the minimum four second gap should say and um, be prepared for people breaking late so don't, don't look at the car in front of you look at what's beyond them so there's a roundabout and they're all breaking that car in front of me is breaking now it's just starting breaking i'm off the gas making it easy for myself and that's the important thing give yourself time to slow down if you're braking late and hard there's a risk of skidding in the when it's like this. Also, because it's raining quite heavy, aquaplaning is a possibility. Um, if you're not sure what aquaplaning is, look it up. But I'll just give you a brief idea what it basically means. It's, it's where the tyres lose grip on the ground. So it's not actually skidding, it's lifting off. <laughs> Which sounds a bit strange. Half a ton car lifts off the ground with rain. It happens and basically what's happening is the um, the rain can't get through the, the tire grip so in the in the tires you've got like a tread depth uh, like a, a grip in there that the rain can get in the grooves and it can't get rid of the grooves can't get rid of it fast enough so because it's, it starts to build up and lifts off the tires off the ground so you can literally lift your, your car off the ground which is dangerous if it does happen to you and you find yourself lifting off the ground the best thing to do is come off the gas straight away don't go on the brake because you're going to lock your wheels up don't try and turn the wheel because you're going to go into a spin just lift off the ground just lift off the, off the gas let the car slow down on its own so yeah i'm just taking it easy expecting surface water on bends on dips because if you go for a lot of water on the on them bends you're going to feel the the the, the wheel pulls out to the left or to the right depending which, which side you roll you're on and just be careful you know give yourself more time to, to get from A to B because if you don't you might not get there if you're rushing to get from A to B because you're running late there's a possibility you're going around a corner and lose grip and skip so keep looking at the road there could be a flood it could be a burst river that's going across the road so if you see some hazardous come off the gas check what's happening behind you hazard lights on tell people behind us a hazard because they won't know all they see is you so on the left there coming up there's a quite a big puddle so i'm checking my mirror and going slightly wide i don't want to go through it at 40 mile an hour if i go through at 40 mile i'm going to feel the wheel pull to the left so just remember be careful and just give yourself time to get get to where you need to be safe driving and um, be good on the roads.